first off, I want to say thank you for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, definitely go check out part one, where I show the process of what we're doing, why we're doing it, and you can see what we're using to do what we got currently. So this is going to pick up directly where part one left off. I appreciate you guys if you've already watched that one, and let's go ahead and get into it. I'm excited to show you guys the end result. Alrighty guys, so let me show you where we're at here. So I went ahead and focuses, sorry. So I went ahead and shaved this down. I made the top as flat as possible. Obviously there's some um, inconsistencies a little bit because you know a little bit more foam put right there. Gonna have to fill these up, which is gonna be a little tricky. Um, especially, you know, with the foam, it likes to come out kind of quick, so we're going to have to do what we can to try and keep it from uh, coming out fast and then try and fill in these spots here, and then we can shave those down. But at least now that we got this first layer, I think this is, you know, going to really work out the way that we wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and spread another layer here, and we'll build off of it. So I'll put you guys down over here. And... So, got to take off this little excess. Bear with me again, guys. This is my technically second time, but first time actually doing this, um, which is, you know, again, good for you guys because you get to see the, uh, the difficult it's going to be for you guys first time. And if any of you guys are laughing at me about my plastic bag, my hands are still clean, so it worked out. All right, let's go ahead and be careful about laying the second layer here. Alrighty guys, so I think that we'll do it for this uh, second layer here. We'll go ahead and let this sit and we'll just continue, continue, continue until we get this to be the shape that we want. And then after that, laying fiberglass over this will be a lot easier. Heck of a lot easier. Put that in just in case. Don't want to get this demonetized. Um, but we, uh, excuse me, now I'm having a brain fart. So it'll be a lot cleaner and get a lot better shape than we wanted, that we want rather than the fiberglass and it's a lot messy if you looked over there there's fiberglass all over that we're gonna have to clean up so we'll go ahead and let this sit i'll watch the daily do all that stuff again sorry not sure how long this video is going to be i'll edit it the best that i can to keep it not crazy long for you guys um but gotta let this sit and then we'll go from there all right guys so this time i am trying to do a more accurate counter and see when it's actually drying so you guys know so it has been about 10 minutes now um so let's go ahead and check it Okay, so that's still way too soft. So earlier when I said 10 minutes, I lied. Um, we definitely want it to be pretty solid. Uh, right now it's still pretty soft. It doesn't like allow a hole to get poked through, but it still flexes, which isn't what we want. So we'll go ahead and wait, um, and then I'll check back again in about either five to 10 minutes, and then we'll see where it's at. Okay, sorry guys, we're actually at the 30 mark right now. Uh, we were washing the car, so I wasn't able to come check it. But even still, let's go ahead and take this. And if you check it, it's still a little too soft. So this is a little softer than we want. We still want it to be harder than that because if we start cutting into that, it'll be really mushy. Um, so earlier when I had said maybe it was, you know, we could have done this sooner, it was actually wrong. Um, it looks like you do need about 30 to 40 minutes for this stuff to sit and dry the proper way uh, for you to go ahead and start sanding it and stuff. Um, at the 30 mark, at least, it's stuck and it's not going anywhere. We don't have to worry about it dropping right now. Um, so that's good, but on the same time, again, you can't really cut into it or mold it right now. So we're going to have to wait, and I'll come back to you guys probably in about another 15-20 minutes, and then we can go ahead and start chopping this up again. 
It has already been a long day, guys. Alright. Back checking on this stuff again. So we are at about 45 minutes. And I think it's dry enough to go ahead and actually start messing with now. Check it. That spot's a little soft. But for the most part, it's all hard enough to go ahead and start cutting into. So, sadly, doing this, you know, it's going to take some time. you got to let it sit. Um, if you're working with something that's not so small and in an angle, you might be able to stack it and, you know, only have to worry about it all drying once. Uh, just, if you're doing that, I'd recommend take your time when you're laying it down. That's the best thing I can say. I'm going to go ahead and cut this and I'll uh, let you guys see when I'm finished shaping this for now. I also wanted to show this too really quickly. While I was doing this, it just, uh, it just happened to me. So some of you guys might have been saying, well, who cares if it's uh, you know, a little soft on the inside? Why does that matter? It's not a big deal. Well, if you cut into it, sorry, if you cut into it while it's still soft, what happens is the foam gets stuck to the blade and then you got this sticky crap stuck on the blade here. Then now you gotta try peeling off. So now your cuts aren't gonna be as smooth unless you get every little bit of this off. So that's one of the reasons why you want to make, really make sure that this stuff's dry enough. Um, again, it, I know it's a pain, it does take some time, but if you want to get it done correctly, smoother cuts and not have to deal with stuff like this, make sure that it dries all the way. So I want to let you guys know that real quick because um, I just ran into that and it's something good for you guys to know. All right, I'm going to get back to cutting again. So guys, it's coming along. I want you guys to go ahead and remember what it looked like at the beginning of this video and take a look at it now. So obviously we still got a ways to go, but if you look nice and flat on the top, there's some spots we're going to have to fill in and that's also where making sure it dries all the way is good and of course I didn't, you know, should have waited a little longer on mine, but it's a learning process guys and you guys get to see my mistakes so you don't have to make them. Um, but definitely looks a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and lay another layer, uh, if I had to guess probably going to need about another maybe two to three two to three layers we'll see you know I also said it takes 10 minutes to dry and we all know that was a lie so gonna go ahead and lay another later layer um, probably let it sit and take a break we haven't eaten yet my fiance is inside with the kids um, I know they're hungry I'm hungry so we'll probably take a break come back in a few hours for sure it'll be dry by then um, go ahead and shape it and we'll get back to the video go ahead and continue it won't be so hot either so you guys won't you know won't seem like I'm super tired every time I'm tired and worn out every time I pick up this camera so I'm gonna go ahead and lay one more layer on this and then I will um, go ahead and check back in with you guys when I return from lunch and running a couple errands we'll see you guys in a while All right, guys, time for an update. Sorry, my hair is kind of crazy right now. Um, so it is currently 7.15, um, which means it has been an all-day thing. So, And that's for the size of what I was doing. Depending on what you guys are doing, it's either going to take just as long or, you know, a little less. Obviously, um, not completely finished. Uh, reason I'm doing an update is I just ran out of this first can. I do have a second one that I'm going to get started on. A uh, good thing is we are pretty much finished with this. I'll go ahead and show you the progress. So if you look, it's actually coming together pretty nicely. Um, I got some spots to fill. Still got to fill up there a little more and make this uh, kind of even out right there. But I'll go ahead and give you guys a shot a little further away. But it is filling up that spot nicely. Of course, we are going to sand it down still and then lay the fiberglass over it. Uh, this is just to get, you know, the main shape of it so that doesn't happen to where it caves inward like that and throws off the shape that we're going to want. So uh, since this is working so well, I think it, once we are finished with this, go ahead and tear out all the fiberglass there and go ahead and start from scratch on this side kind of a pain because we're going to have to send all this uh, fiberglass off that you know this fiberglass resin and stuff that kind of fell around um, but because that's coming out so well I think this is really going to work um, again has taken all day it is a long process but you know this 
if you're wanting to do it with the 280ZX, is really going to help the car, you know, look a heck of a lot better in my opinion. Uh, second, if you do are doing this with something else, which I will be, um, I do have another 350Z front bumper, I don't know if I've stated that on here yet or not, that I am uh, working on and I'm going to be doing some different things. Uh, for there, I did create those pieces myself out of just fiberglass and now that I'm doing this um, and know that this works, the options are, you know, there's tons more stuff that can be done. Uh, so I'm probably going to recreate those pieces out of the foam and give my front bumper on my 350Z something more aggressive. There's more stuff for the 280ZX we're probably going to do with this and on my 350. So you guys will see multiple things I even mean, if you don't have the 280ZX on things you can use it for and stuff like that which again knowing this you can almost create your own body parts you know for your car from scratch which is going to be awesome for uh, anybody who's wanting to really make their car unique and something different. So I'm glad I've been able to show you guys. Again, it has taken forever, but you know, it's coming together, it's looking good. Again, I'm not finished yet. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the other can. Uh, finish, I'm not gonna even say how many more I got left to go for tonight. I probably have about one more, so I'll, I'll completely finish it probably tomorrow. Um, I'll give you an update before I finish up for the night and then of course tomorrow once I actually finish it I will give you guys a final update so you guys know exactly what the final product looks like Again, hopefully this video isn't too long. I'm gonna do what I can uh, to keep it you guys here for like 30 minutes on this um, But let me go ahead grab the other can I'll start over this and I will see you guys in a while As you can see Now nighttime, so this did take all day but here's the final product for the day. Actually, it looks really good. Um, I still need to sand this down, fill in a couple spots, and then of course it is gonna be overlaid with fiberglass um, after it's all said and done, which will get sanded down and we'll blend this with the front air dam. So, looks really good. Made sure we can open and close the hood, so that's always good. So I have to pick this back up tomorrow and then we'll go ahead and finish the vlog after I get this one done because there's no point in me showing you how to redo it all there, but I can talk about that a little bit tomorrow. Either way, good night guys, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Alrighty guys, mess is cleaned up, this is day two, just pretty much finished, so let's go ahead and show you what it looks like currently. This is pretty much what we wanted. Um, I still need to sand it down, fill in a couple spots, and I'm not sure if I want to lay the fiberglass over it first or if I want to do that side with foam and then lay the fiberglass over it so the foam is at least even. So I might wait to lay the fiberglass on it just yet. But it definitely looks better than what it did when we first started. So I'll go ahead and back up a little bit, kind of show you guys as much as I can. Sadly, my Pathfinder's here so I can't back all the way and show you guys. Now if you look up what a 280ZX front bumper normally looks like, it is way different than this. So this is a huge improvement, guys. So again, do need to touch up, shave some stuff down. But now at least we have this nice thick coat that we can overlay the fiberglass on and make it look really nice. So I'm really happy with how this came out. We do have to do that side again. There's plenty more we gotta do still left to this, but this is pretty much the final product and this is what I want you guys to see. So there's no reason for me to keep you guys here any longer uh, for you to see me sanding this down and filling in the spots, basically doing the same stuff that we did. I wanted to, you guys to see the process of how to lay it, how to cut it, how to shape it, so you guys can get, you know, basically this. So this is probably going to be pretty much the end of this little part two series here. Um, again, I do need to do that side. I don't think I'm going to film me doing that side as it's the same process, but I will show after it's finished so you guys can see how it looks. And then we'll go ahead and start working with a fiberglass, uh, laying that over so you guys can see that, which will be good for your, you know, you guys, the channel, all of it, because I want to take you guys step by step through this process. Um, really appreciate you guys for sticking with me this long. I hope you guys have enjoyed the content so far. Um, I hope that was really helpful for you. I really hope that you guys decide that you want to do something like this yourself And if you do leave a comment on your Instagrams down below so I can check it out or see the process or you know If you guys want help doing this yourself 
definitely leave a comment with your Instagram, stuff like that. I will reach out to you. I love helping people. I love doing this and I want to be as much in the community as I can. So really appreciate you guys for watching. Here, let me put you down real quick, sorry. Go ahead and uh, bring you guys over here. All right, now that I got you guys set up, thanks again for you guys watching, for anybody that has subscribed. If you know anybody else that may enjoy the content that I'm putting out that I've mentioned in the intro or what you know this two-parter was about, definitely let your friends know, have them come check it out, have them subscribe. You know, if you have any feedback, comment it down below, whether it's good, bad, anything like that. I'm really making these videos just to share my experiences and share the things that I've done because the foam stuff, I wanted to learn how to do it and there was no videos about doing it that I saw. I've seen people do it on Instagram, things like that, but there was no video showing how to do it. So I had to find basically my own way. So now I'm putting out ways that way other people have the opportunities to do things like this. So again, I hope you guys enjoy this stuff. Um, I hope this was helpful to you more importantly. And like, share, subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next one. There's still tons to come. You know, the 280, the 350, the Pathfinder, maybe the GTI. I'm really excited for all the projects that I have lined up to show you guys new, you know, new content, uh, car shows, cruises. Um, we haven't even gone to my stepdad's house yet, so you guys can see his uh, fully built race truck that he built by hand. So there's still tons of stuff to see. So if you guys are interested in any of that, you know, definitely come back. But that's it for today. I will see you guys in the next one, and thanks again. Hey, if you want it, you can have it. That my old style, moving through the night just like an old car. Yo, the